Have you ever wondered how important listening is in your devotion to God? That's the question we're exploring today, delving into the deep and transformative art of listening in devotion. Throughout the Bible, there's a clear call to listen attentively to God's voice. Picture the scene in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 12. God doesn't speak to Elijah in a grand booming voice, but rather in a gentle whisper. This underscores the vital importance of stillness and attentiveness in hearing his voice. Jesus, too, frequently encouraged his disciples to listen, to truly heed his teachings. It's through this attentive listening that we can experience spiritual growth and cultivate discernment. So, in a world brimming with distractions, how do we distinguish the divine whisper amidst the clamor? It's a practice that begins with stillness and silence. Indeed, the Bible continually emphasizes the importance of listening to God's voice, a practice that begins with stillness and silence. So, how can we truly listen to God's voice? The answer resides in the art of cultivating stillness and silence. In the cacophony of life, the psalmist offers a profound directive in Psalm 46.10, be still and know that I am God. This divine instruction invites us to create a sanctuary of silence within ourselves, a sacred space where God's voice can be discerned. To cultivate this stillness, practices such as meditation, prayer and contemplation are invaluable. Through meditation we quiet the chatter of our minds, making room for divine whispers to be heard. In prayer we converse with God, speaking less and listening more. Contemplation, on the other hand, allows us to dwell in the silence, opening our hearts to the subtle stirrings of the divine. In this quietude we find ourselves more attuned to God's voice, more receptive to his guidance. Cultivating stillness and silence is indispensable in tuning into God's voice. But how can we be sure we are hearing God's voice amidst the noise of life, you may ask? Discerning God's voice is a journey, a process that requires sensitivity to his leading and guidance. It's like tuning into a radio frequency. We have to adjust our spiritual antennas to pick up his signal. We find reassurance in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27, where it's stated, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Prayer and scripture study play a crucial role here. As we pour out our hearts in prayer and immerse ourselves in the wisdom of the scriptures, we begin to recognize the tone, the rhythm, the melody of God's voice. We become more attuned to his voice, able to discern his guidance amidst the clamor of life's distractions. Discerning God's voice is a skill that develops as we deepen our relationship with him. It's a lifelong journey of faith, trust and spiritual growth. And what role does scripture play in hearing God's voice? Well, it's pivotal. The Bible, the revered text of Christianity, serves as a primary channel through which God communicates with us. It has been beautifully described in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12, as living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. This metaphor vividly illustrates the potency and dynamism of God's Word. Scripture isn't just a collection of ancient texts, but a living conversation with the divine. By immersing ourselves in Scripture, we're not just reading, we're actively engaging with God's voice. We're allowing His truth to permeate our hearts and minds, to challenge us, to comfort us, to guide us. Meditating on Scripture is like tuning into a divine frequency. It's a practice that requires dedication and patience, but the reward is a deeper, more intimate dialogue with God. Immersing ourselves in Scripture is a vital practice in listening to God's voice. But what does it mean to truly listen to God's voice? Listening in devotion goes beyond merely hearing. It requires humility, obedience, and a willingness to submit to God's will. This is underscored in James 1.22, where we are reminded, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. This verse calls us not only to hear God's voice, but to act upon his teachings. It's an invitation to align our actions with the divine wisdom we receive, not just to nod in agreement, but to walk in obedience. It's a journey of humility, acknowledging that our own understanding is limited and it is God's wisdom that guides us. It's about trusting him even when his guidance challenges our comfort zones or contradicts our personal desires. Listening in devotion is a transformative practice that deepens our spiritual connection with God, enabling us to discern his voice and follow his leading. Thank you for watching Glorious Tube channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share and press the notification button.